I cannot enter. You Londoners are no man! <laughs>
So the husband had an affair with Doris Fletcher. <coughs> Doris Fletcher seems to be the missing link here. It can't just be a coincidence. I should go to her acting school.
There's an open window on the second floor. I should be able to get in through that. front of you stand the tall queen. Can that be Doris Fletcher's voice? Where does it come from? Alas, poor Doris, I knew her well, and many can testify to her kindness and beauty, for now she hides in shadow.
I have been raised through hate. But I offer only love. It's locked. to her kindness and beauty, for now she hides. It's locked, all right. Enter my realm. Are you here to worship or mock me? I'm here to put an end to the vampire epidemic, Miss Fletcher. Ah. But Doris Fletcher is no more. She was consumed by this putrid flesh that now enshrouds her. You feel anger for what happened to you. But I can help you. I'm a doctor, Miss Fletcher. Doris Fletcher is no more. All that remains are the dreams of the queen she was and the queen she'll be. Until then, all shall die. For that was her final wish. My Oh! <laughs> 
I smell your fear. Behold, Kinslayer, the disgrace of she she was once renowned. Will she be the queen again once they all share her fate? I don't want to die. 
And I did not come to kill you, Miss Fletcher. Will you spare me then? Save this cadaverous carcass of mine. Does your heart beat a little faster now? You fancy me then, Doctor? No, Miss Fletcher. My dead heart will beat for only one. Ah! Is she pretty? Is she sweet and tender? To me, yes. Ah! I hate her already. I know. And this is partly why you must be destroyed. What you just said. That I did not come here to kill you, yes. But I realize now the threat you embody must be stopped. <sighs> Will I be remembered? Will you? You were Doris Fletcher, the greatest actress of her generation. No one can take that from you. Thank you. And farewell. Farewell. Dramatic. I love it. McCullum. How strange I seem to find you whenever I'm inquiring about that skull infestation. I mean you no harm. I'm not here for you. But once I put all the pieces of the puzzle together, I'm sure we'll have a little chat, you and me. Stay away from me, McCullum. You and all your war dogs. That I can't guarantee, Dr. Reed. But I'll let you go. For now. I should probably leave the theater right now. The West End should be safe now. But London is not. It would be wise to benefit from the Ascalon's protection. Well, I can...